Don't ignore these early symptoms of parasites in your body. Did you know that parasites can live in your intestines for years without causing any symptoms? Even though the thought of having a parasite in your body is pretty unpleasant, parasites are far more common than you might think. Moreover, these parasites are not restricted to underdeveloped countries, parasites exist around the world and can afflict anyone of any race, gender, or socioeconomic status. Parasites are organisms that live in and feed off a living host. There are a few different kinds of parasitic worms that can live in people like you and me. Among them are flatworms, roundworms, and thorny-headed worms. Without a host, a parasite cannot live, grow, and multiply. For this reason, a parasite rarely kills its host, but it can spread diseases, some of which may be deadly. So, in this video, we will talk about the signs and symptoms of a parasitic infection and tips to prevent them. Number 1. Stomach Distress Stomach pain is one of the first signs you might have a parasite, especially if the worm is binging in your intestines. Some parasites live in food, like meat, and they get into the body through the stomach when you eat food that is not properly cooked. Parasites can also spread from person to person, through the air, or through polluted impure water. Once the parasites are inside the body, they will multiply, causing more stomach pain and distress. Number 2. Digestive Issues The waste products that parasites create in your intestines can build up over time in your digestive tract. This can lead to inflammation, gas, and difficulty in digesting food. Some of these parasites actually stop food from being digested and leaving the body. This can cause sharp pain, abdominal swelling, vomiting, and constipation, among other things. Number 3. Itchy Anus A common sign of having parasites in your stomach is, unfortunately, an itchy anus. The itchy anus is uncomfortable and usually doesn't go away on its own unless you get proper treatment for it. It can be not only frustrating but also quite embarrassing to have this problem. It can also keep you from sleeping peacefully since parasites are most active and lay their eggs at night, so most of the time, the itching is worst during the night. On top of that, if you are not careful when scratching the itch, you can hurt the delicate skin and make it more likely that you will get an infection. Number 4. Unexplained Tiredness Do you feel tired all the time? A parasitic infection in your intestines could be the reason why. Parasites steal and eat nutrients and minerals that the body needs to function and stay alive. Also, some parasites can make it harder for the body to absorb nutrients, which can hurt your health in general. On top of that, parasites can make you feel weak and tired even if you eat well and get enough sleep. Before we go any further, if you have enjoyed this video thus far, please go ahead and hit the like button. Your one like will go a long way in helping others discover this video. So thank you for that, and now let's get back to the video. Number 5. Weight Loss Parasites can also cause you to lose weight quickly and for no reason. Parasites not only steal nutrients from your body, but your body also needs to use more energy and calories to fight the parasitic infection itself. All of these things can cause people to lose weight. If you lose weight and also have a change in your appetite or other symptoms, this could be a sign that you have parasites. Now since we are on the topic of losing weight, after watching this video, don't forget to collect your free ebook from the description below. This ebook will help you keep your health in tip-top shape. Number 6. Anxiety. It may be hard to believe, but parasites in your stomach can also make you feel anxious even if you are unaware of their existence. Parasites can make people less stable and happy, which can lead to mood swings, anger, and anxiety. Knowing you have a parasitic infection can make your anxiety even worse, so it can be a vicious cycle. Number 7. Teeth Grinding Most people who grind their teeth in their sleep don't even know about it. There are a lot of factors that can make you grind your teeth, so just because you do it doesn't mean you necessarily have a parasite. If you do, the parasites make you toss and turn all night because that's when they are most active, and this restlessness can lead to physical stress, which can make you grind your teeth. If you don't do anything about your teeth grinding caused by a parasitic infection, you may end up seriously damaging your teeth. Number 8. Iron Deficiency Parasites steal a lot of iron out of the food you eat, which can make you sick with anemia. Anemia happens when there isn't enough hemoglobin in your body, which is a protein in the blood that transports oxygen around the body. 
Parasites take iron from foods like meat and fish, so the body doesn't get enough iron to carry out its functions properly. Number 9. Skin Bumps or Rashes Have you noticed your skin become red and irritated? Maybe it's the parasite. Swelling, inflammation, or a rash in an area on your body is a sign of parasitic infection around that region. These skin irritations could be caused by the body's immune system trying to fight the parasite or by the parasite's waste products and toxins being released on the skin. An increase of eosinophils, which are a type of disease-fighting white blood cells in the blood, can also be caused by parasites and allergies. In the long run, this can slow the growth of hair and nails. Generally, skin irritation and inflammation are often mistaken for a bad reaction to food, instead of a parasitic infection. If you suspect you have a parasite, it's important to talk to your doctor. The tests a doctor may order to diagnose a parasite infection depend on factors such as the person's symptoms, other medical conditions, and travel history. The most common test to diagnose a parasite infection is the fecal exam. If a person is having diarrhea, gas, or other stomach symptoms, three or more stool samples may be collected on different days and examined for a parasite or parasite eggs. If stool samples do not contain a parasite, the doctor may suggest an endoscopy, or a thin tube called an endoscope may be inserted through the mouth into the intestines to reveal any parasites. The healthcare professional may also perform a blood test to detect a specific parasitic infection. Once a diagnosis is confirmed, parasitic infections generally respond well to treatment. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well.